Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. Nice day today. Plenty of sunshine and look at the temperatures. You can really see how fall is settling in, right? No huge differences between the coast, valley and hills. In fact, it was a little cooler up in Ben Lomond at 68 than it was down in Monterey or of course uh, the Inland Valley. So we're starting to see that transition now as we continue to move through the end of October. Uh, the low clouds mixed out too. The marine layer got so deep it just kind of fell apart. Uh, you need an inversion layer to have that and you get enough cool air going. Well, there's no inversion layer. We've got a winter storm though, pretty powerful too. Uh, coming through Seattle right now, heading to Missoula and you can see all of the snow uh, that'll come into parts of Idaho, uh, Montana and down into the Rockies. You can see how cold it is too. Uh, we'll miss out on a lot of that of course because high pressures over California right now. Look at the 20 from Billings to Bismarck, Minneapolis at 33, 35 Omaha. And you can see the cold air diving down 28 in Denver with fires ranging uh, to the west of Denver. Of course, they have red flag warnings up high winds and then it's going to snow. So hopefully it'll put those fires right out. Wind chills in the teens right now uh, through almost all of the northern plains and the uh, northern Rockies. Uh, you know, we're talking uh, uh, hundreds of thousands of people uh, under the winter chill right now. Severe weather alerts. This is all winter storm warnings uh, going all the way down uh, towards Denver. So we've got a lot of weather uh, just off to our east. And that will play a factor in our weather for the weekend. Uh, of course, we won't get in on any of the rain and the snow. That will pass us by tonight and tomorrow. It'll leave behind just some cool air and some low clouds. And then things really change for us as what we call the, the gradient or the wind gradient starts to really ramp up. And uh, that will lead to offshore flow. And that's the difference between high and low pressure. So here you go. You can see the streamlines going off the coast and that is that east to northeast wind which this time of year can be very problematic that includes all of the santa cruz mountains down to about watsonville and all of the bay area so bay area coast hills santa cruz county all of that and then the santa clara valley of course south and east of that you are not included in that not in the salinas valley not in salinas and not down over the Santa Lucia's where we do have some fires currently burning, but it could be a little windy down there, but not enough for an advisory. Northeast winds 15 to 35 could see some gusts to 50 up at higher elevations that could again lead to explosive fire growth. If we get a new fire, it could also lead to some down trees, which could lead to power outages and down lines and PG and E may shut the power off. So there's two possibilities for power uh, losing power. That's one from PG and E turning it off or the wind basically knocking it out 47 to 54 overnight. So we're cool with some bay clouds tomorrow. We get rid of most of the clouds quickly and then we're back to mostly sunny 67 to 72 seasonable temperatures for both the valleys, hills and coast upper 60s to middle 70s again for the mountains and valleys, mostly sunny skies, afternoon breeze and mild temperatures. All of the offshore flow is on Sunday, not tomorrow. 69 Monterey, 71 Santa Cruz tomorrow. You can see how uniform our temperatures are. So summer is over, but we haven't had any rain yet. So we're still in high fire danger. Hollister at 70, 73 Gilroy, 72 San Jose. And by the way, when we get into that uh, time, when we get that high wind on Sunday, we also have a red flag warning, of course, because of the critical fire danger associated with that. So uh, that's an impact day on Sunday for the wind. Uh, we keep the wind going Sunday night into Monday morning. Then the wind dies off. We're left with sunshine 60s and 70s. Those are your coastal temps. You'll notice that the inland temps really aren't very different, mostly mid 60s to middle and upper 70s. So nice weather ahead, although Sunday afternoon through about midday Monday, we're just going to keep an eye on the wind and those potential power outages. And of course, stay extra vigilant. We do not want to have a fire start, Dan. You know, yeah. it explode quickly. Okay.